In the current socio-political setup, corporate and political entities have repeatedly emphasized technological tools as a key to solving most problems. This belief that all difficulties have benign, mostly technocratic solutions is called solutionism. A recent example comes from Rajasthan, where amid the rising student suicides in Kota, the district administration has asked all hostels and paying guest accommodations to install spring-loaded fans in all rooms. Here again, essentially technological solutions have been proposed to counter a larger socio-cultural issue. In the landscape of political debates, certain terms and tactics emerge that capture the essence of a particular strategy. One such term is whataboutry. It is a technique of responding to accusations or difficult questions by deflecting attention through counter-accusations or by raising unrelated issues. Recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was accused of whataboutry by the opposition when he claimed that the Congress government had carried out attacks on innocent people of Mizoram in 1956. The Prime Minister was responding to the opposition's allegation that the centre had chosen inaction in response to violence in Manipur. Another rhetoric tactic gaining rapid notoriety is sea lining. Sea lining is a harassment tactic by which a participant in a debate or online discussion pesters the other participant with disingenuous questions under the guise of sincerity, hoping to erode the patience or goodwill of the target to the point where they appear unreasonable. Often, sea lining involved asking for evidence for even basic claims. Then there is gaslighting, the subjective experience in which an individual's perception of reality is repeatedly undermined or questioned by another person. This term, derived from the 1944 American film Gaslight, entered colloquial English usage in the mid-2010s. The film is about a seemingly genteel husband who manipulates and isolates his high-risk wife and persuade her that she is mentally unwell so that he can steal from her. In a 2022 Washington Post report, it was described as a trendy buzzword frequently used to describe ordinary disagreements rather than those situations that align with the word's historical definition. Finally, a phrase most of us must have used or heard, woke. Woke is an adjective derived from African-American vernacular English, meaning alert to racial prejudice and discrimination. Beginning in the 2010s, it came to encompass a broader awareness of social inequalities such as sexism. By 2020, many on the political right and some in the ideological center in several Western countries began sarcastic using the term as a pejorative for various leftist and progressive movements and ideologies they perceived as overzealous, performative or insincere. In turn, some commentators came to consider woke an offensive term that disparages persons who promote progressive ideas involving identity and race. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She has ambitions of becoming a brand. Business Standard